From Studio 2A in Pix Plaza, this is the Pix 11 News at 10. There are new details about the 14 year old Bronx boy accused of stabbing to death a classmate. A report from DOE says at least one school official knew the suspected killer was bullied, but did nothing to stop it. Pix 11's Ayanna Harry reports. Did teachers and administrators here at IS 117 miss the signs that a student was being bullied to his breaking point? How could teachers even know what was going on with this kid when he stopped showing up to class? Those questions are at the heart of this new Department of Education report. But John and Tamsin, there are no easy answers. He's just 14 years old, but on June 18th, Noel Estevez fatally stabbed Timothy Crump. Noel's attorney says the boy snapped after extreme bullying by classmates. The Department of Education launched an investigation, interviewed teachers and the principal, but could not establish any bullying or harassment of Noel Estevez by Timothy Crump took place at IS 117. But thanks to a 2012 law, what the Dignity for All Act specifies is that teachers and educators, staff members in the building are responsible for acts of bullying that take place even outside of the school building. Noel's teachers said they had little interaction with the boy and therefore no idea he was harassed. Noel stopped attending classes. One of the main signs of bullying behavior is children not showing up to school. Noel's former attorney says the walk to school for the 14-year-old became a nightmare. Here's a child being threatened. People coming to his door continually saying, we're going to kill you, you're dead, showing extreme lack of respect by urinating on his door. One ACS specialist interviewed for the investigation say visited Noel at home and learned he was being bullied by a couple of kids. But a school guidance counselor said Noel could not be transferred because he was physically able to attend class. Noel's story is now motivation for people like Lindy Crescitelli of Peace Dynamics. He works to educate NYC families about the resources to get them the help they might need. One of the things that's awesome that's available is the United Federation of Teachers, the UFT, sponsors a Brave Hotline, an anti-bullying number that people can call anonymously. And these Brave Line posters will be inside each and every New York City public school when students return to classes in the fall. Reporting outside of IS 117 in the Bronx, Ayanna Harry, Pix11 News. This is the Pix11 News at 10.